guys and welcome to today's vlog. We are back at home and I'm super excited because today Amy, our interior designer, is coming over. She's actually coming in actually like 30 minutes and I have a lot of stuff I need to do before she comes. But I thought it would be fun to do a little like summer refresh of the house. So I'll kind of talk about that a little bit later. Before she comes, I want to do a grocery haul for you guys because we just got our groceries delivered. I also need to eat lunch. I'm just having some soup. So that's heating up in the microwave. And Princess Kobe is having a frozen burrito because we had no food. Luma also is over here and wants to come inside. Hey pups. So I'll show you guys what we got from the store. Also, I'll link this t-shirt because last time I wore it, everybody asked me about it. They were like, oh my gosh, your shirt. Where's it from? It's from Urban Outfitters. I usually wouldn't wear it. It literally says moonshine and you guys know that Parker and I don't even drink, but I got these biker shorts from Free People that I also showed you guys a couple weeks ago and I don't have like any shirts to wear them with. So I needed something that's like long so this was like one of the only things that i could find that wasn't i don't even know really not my style i will link this i think it also comes in pink okay so we just got our groceries delivered i'm gonna show you guys what we got so i did get a couple more of these frozen burritos these are so nice for if we like don't have food or i need something just like super quick so these are just beans and rice i also got raspberries these are kobe's favorite and then i also got this vegan cool whip stuff so i want to get some fruit from costco to dip in that and then i also also got this yogurt which i should have got one that's not so fancy because what i want to do with this i don't know if i'll do it in this vlog or the next one but i want to make some like paint for cove which i kind of did this before a few months ago but i want to have her like do it in the bathtub just as like an activity like not with water but just to like have a surface where she can like touch anything and get the yogurt on it it'll be easy to clean and then you guys are going to be shocked but instead of doritos this week parker went with triscuits because he claims that he is going to run the marathon in a few months yeah he said he can't eat doritos anymore and he's trying to train for a marathon he never like really runs <laughs> or like works out that much so we'll see you know if it happens i'm always the one pretty much who like initiates the workouts like if i take two weeks off parker also like doesn't work out for two weeks i actually went back to my workout class today for the first time in like four months they reopened it probably like a month ago maybe i don't even know but they have like less people so you're like more spread out they took our temperature and there's like hand sanitizer and stuff and wipes to wipe everything down it was so hard i am so out of shape but i was happy i got to go back to that but anyways i'm kind of scared of these i got roasted red peppers like in jars usually i would try to like use fresh ones of these but the recipe actually i might make it in this video for dinner it's roasted red pepper pasta i should have just figured out how to like make my own roasted red pepper i think you just literally put it in the oven but i don't know oh i also got some orzo because we use this in one of my favorite soups we also got bagels and eggs for parker then yay i got basil they're out of this like almost every time i order groceries it's so weird the fresh basil i got that wait why did i buy this i don't remember putting this in the cart but we apparently got lettuce i also have cilantro and a bag of carrots that we also use for our soup then we always get bananas i got some limes and some lemons we use so many of these with cooking i also have avocado and two grapefruits do you want to come finish the grocery haul while i eat since it's parker's grocery haul okay next up we've got some chicken breasts for me because starting today guys i decided that today is the day that i start my uh, I marathon him. prep oh you told him yeah today i am starting my marathon prep so i'm gonna start eating super healthy i'm gonna start trying to run every single day maybe not run every day but i might go on like a bike ride every other day and run every other day i don't know but did you match me today yeah i matched you oh we should put Kobe in her blue outfit today is the day that i start that so i got some chicken breast we got some of our favorite tortillas. These are the uh, raw ones that you have to cook. We got two new things of vegetable broth. We got tahini sauce for Aspen's many recipes. We got some unsalted whole cashews for Aspen's favorite recipes as well. We got some cilantro lime rice for another one of Aspen's males that she loves. And then special for you. Aspen got some special, it's not really special, it's just normal uh, noodles. This is penne noodles. These ones are rotini and they're just normal. Normally, we've been buying those chickpea. Are they vegan or are these vegan? I think they both are vegan, but the chicken They're like awesome. more healthy and have more protein and have more nutrients. But guys, like I could eat a bowl of these by itself with like a little salt on it. Like it, they're good to eat. 
The other ones, I do not like the flavor. So, They're so good. So Aspen They're got fine. these for me. I will not deny this is better. Right. But for me and Coke that we don't really eat meat. But that's not we meat. The, we need the protein. Oh, need the extra protein. Right. That makes sense. But yeah, I don't like the taste of it. So I asked Aspen to get different noodles for me. But yeah, that's it for the grocery haul. When's Amy supposed to be here? Have you talked My about that? so hot. Yeah. So she's, it's like 12.30 right now. She's coming at one. So I need to finish eating. We need to put these away. And then I'll explain a little bit more in a minute, but we're gonna finish eating and put oh. everything away. Tomato, what the tomato oh, wait. paste? Yeah, I also That's got weird. that for. In a tube thing? Yeah, because every time we get it in a can and then I use like a tiny bit for a recipe and then I feel like oh, it goes bad smart, to yeah. leave it. So this is our groceries. How's your burrito? You ate almost a Whoa. whole burrito. Oh wait, why is it in your eyebrows? Hey, say hey everyone. Can you say hi? Oh, my genius, he's so smart. Okay, so I just gathered up a bunch of stuff. So some of this stuff we already had, a couple things are new. I showed you guys a few vlogs back that Love and Gray sent me a package. So I have a few things from there. And then there's a couple things I got on Memorial Day sale weekend. So I have had my eye on this for so long. So I got this and then I actually have these already in my room, but they're like my favorite things in the whole house. Hi Bubba. And they were both on sale. This was only 15 bucks. So even though I already had it, I couldn't resist getting more. I wasn't planning on getting like so many things, but not all this is new. Be careful. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. I was only gonna get a couple new things and then Amy, I was texting her and she's like, oh, I'll put together a Pinterest board and there were so many cute things on there. So we ended up with few new things but like we've said we're supposed to get our basement done sometime this year it was supposed to be in like august or september and then now they're saying november we just got that update i thought it was going to be like in a month or two so i kind of started collecting some things for down there but now it is going to be a little bit delayed but anyways i wanted to have some pieces from down there that were like cute and lots of stuff was on sale you so cutie ah, say hey everybody Anyways, I wanted to do a little summer refresh because it's been like six months, I think, since we got our house done and I love everything, but I thought it'd be fun to just kind of like switch it up for summer. I got some more pink, as you guys saw. I feel like pink is super fun for summer. So I think we're mostly gonna just be changing up like this shelf up here. I feel like this and this were kind of a little more like wintery. They were perfect for when we got the house done in January, yeah. but I wanted to just freshen it up a little so I have some extra books and stuff over there. I showed you guys, I actually got this new print a while ago. It's from Form studio on Etsy and I think they're like seven dollars or six dollars or something super inexpensive to swap those out girl all right you're gonna get held because you're being crazy yeah before we had one that was orange and then I swapped it in with a pink one so Amy's gonna restyle this she's gonna restyle up here maybe we'll do the coffee table I'm like obsessed with our coffee table it's just this like center stuff but Cove actually got a hold of this plant the other day and pulled it off the table so it's a little bit messed up up now so we'll see what we do with that stuff do you want to play with your toys look there's a whole toy shelf right here that has toys for little babies and then i also wanted to oh lumi are you comfy i also have a bunch of pillows a couple of them are new from love and gray and then a lot of these are just like the same couch pillows we had and then i've had these pink ones for a while but they've been upstairs so kind of i'm just moving stuff from like one room to another i got a few new things but i do want amy to restyle this shelf which i'm actually obsessed with this and how it's laid out the only reason i want to change it is because it's just not baby proof right here so we're gonna see what we can do because i still want it to be cute but i'm kind of sad because i love how this is like displayed right now and then over here I think it would be fun to switch up this just because it's been the same for a while and I don't know we'll kind of just see what Amy wants to do because she has the magic touch I'm obsessed with like all the stuff in our kitchen so I'm excited to see kind of what she does for like round two I definitely am going to keep this where it is because I'm obsessed with it I think it's so cute these are just like fake peaches and then this towel actually is from Amy's shop 
So I don't know if we'll change anything. We're definitely not changing anything upstairs. Maybe we would like swap out some pillows with other stuff we have down here. I don't know if we'll change that much up there. I don't know if we'll change much in the office. And then I don't think we would really change much in our room. I feel like it just depends on like if we have extra stuff and we want to swap it in or if we like take something out of one of those rooms, we can put it in here. Yeah, I'm so excited. You guys know I love home decor and house makeovers. So I'm super excited for Amy to come. Also, we told you guys a while ago, but we got window tint on these windows and those ones over there. And it has been amazing. I'm excited for a little home refresh for the summer. Okay guys, so Amy is here. I am so excited for her to restyle everything. <laughs> she looks so so cute. I was just filming Instagram stories. I'm like, I'm always looking for any reason to text Amy or have her come over. <laughs> so she's just changing up this a little bit. This is like my favorite of the house. I love it. I think it's so cute. We'll set up some little time lapses. I can show you guys what she does. just like soft soft and cute for summer so we swapped in a couple things this is new we actually had this in a different color so we got this color and it's a little bit smaller and i think these bowls are so cute too i love those and then aren't these from amazon mm -hmm. and you say yeah i was looking for something like this yesterday to link it but they're super cute i love it all right next up we're trying to figure out the pillows my favorite we have like a million different options i don't want too many just because it's been nice to have like a little bit less than before but we're trying to figure out which which ones look best? Is this all finished? Oh, this looks cute. Amy was oh, trying to figure out what to put on the mantle. It's kind of like a, just a weird space. And then this table looks so cute. Amy brought these from West Elm and then we're actually getting another bunch of these to put in the vase so it's a little bit more full. We moved on to the office because we have a couple extra things. So we're gonna see if we can swap anything on these shelves, just kind of update them. These are so cute though and I love this. This is like my favorite. We got everything done and it looks so cute. So we actually did end up changing a couple things in here just cause we had some extra stuff. So she moved these from like the living room into here. These are new. And then there were just like a couple other things in the living room that she moved. So the shelves look super, super cute. I'm sad that our office, I need to put this away, but we used to have these two cute chairs right here and we would have the doors open. But since Cove can move, there's like cords and stuff in here. So we moved one chair downstairs and then we have this one over here. And we normally actually keep these doors shut so I'm going to close these Kofi's over here being so good playing with her toys Amy restyled this I think it looks so cute so I showed you guys these earlier they're from West Elm we got this cute plant I love that it adds a little bit of height and then have the new print this and this used to be over on this side so she swapped those we moved some books around I love this blue one I think it's so cute and then we actually didn't change too much on the coffee table we did change out this because Kofi got a hold of the other one and kind of ruined it the mantle I show you guys has these cute little things on it so it's kind of just simple which is perfect i made a little bed for cove to lay on but she didn't want to so there's a pillow who's on the couch goes over here we have this little one and then another one over there parker's over here making some dinner for us i'll show you guys what he's making in a second back here we also swapped out a couple things i think she added in a new book and then we had actually this thing down here before and cove just could like get a hold of it and pull it so i was saying we need softer things that she can't break so she has this basket here she can play with and then some of these cute beads and then over here there's another kind of like baskety thing and then these beads are kind of just for her to like play with too 
fun little surprise for when she pulls this off the shelf. And then I think we also added in one new book. And then over here, we actually have a lot of extra stuff. Some of this is new, some of this was swapped out from other places, but we actually do need some more things to take down to our second home. And like I said, we are saving some things for the basement, so this will be perfect. So I'm gonna take all this stuff and actually store it probably up in our guest room. But we didn't end up changing anything on the table. Normally we just have, need to fix this, but normally we just have this and this. Actually her mom, Amy's mom does like arrangements and stuff like florals. So she actually stuck some styrofoam in here to put these in so that they stay in place better. But normally it's just these two things on the table. And then I think I showed you guys this shelf. I don't remember for sure, but it looks so good. I wanted everything kind of just like softer and minimal for the summer. So swapped in this, got this new arrangement. These things are new. A lot of stuff we like already had in here, but it looks super, super pretty. And then this is actually kind of a mess already from cooking dinner, but we just have this cute thing in the middle of the stove, the little teapot. I think we're gonna find something new for this, like something similar that's just a little more modern. And then we actually kept like this stuff the same and the counter stuff the same. Yeah, we just changed up a few things and it looks so cute. Are you mincing that? You're not gonna use the thing? Colby's down here playing. We're making some red pepper pasta, the roasted red pepper pasta. I showed you guys earlier that I have like the jarred red peppers and I'm kind of nervous for them. Hopefully they're good. So we got the noodles going. Parker has his own special noodles because he has to be fancy. Me and Cobra having these chickpea ones. We also have some water boiling. Actually, you didn't turn this one on, babe. But anyways, I'm gonna have Amy's Instagram linked down below. You guys should definitely follow her. She does amazing work and she's super fun. I love when she comes over and our house looks amazing. So the food's done. I think we should do a uh, taste test, mine compared to yours. I didn't put sauce on mine yet. Yeah, there's some on that, on um, Cove's right here. Taste test, ready, set, go. Wow. What, yours is better? On a scale out of one to 10, mine is probably a seven, up? and Aspen's is probably a four. Take a bite of that and take a bite of this. Did you heat this up though? It doesn't need to be. Okay, now take it yours. Is it is? I'm not saying it's not better. It's just for someone that doesn't eat meat, I want the protein of the chickpea pasta. Right, but mine tastes a lot better. It is really good. Not even just like a little bit better, it's a lot better. <laughs> no, it's not. That yeah, one doesn't have any salt on it because it's for food. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm making my own bowl right now. This is actually really good. And it was really easy, so. Yeah, you make the noodles and then the sauce is pretty easy too. And if you're not too fancy and you don't have to make two noodles, it's even easier. So just stick. Oh, to link, the normal noodles I'll and you guys will the uh recipe down below i just got it on pinterest i feel like we'll definitely make this again i feel like with pasta from pinterest it's always like really hit or miss like right. we've made a few i think the key too that like we haven't made this mistake for a while but when i was first like cooking vegan stuff if you don't let your sauce blend long enough so it's like gritty because it has cashews in it right. you gotta let it blend let it blend i'm also making some garlic bread that aspen suggested parker's famous garlic some bread. of my famous garlic garlic bread. This bread with this butter, which is this super even? easy. Just put the butter on the top, stick it in the oh, oven, wait, and it's done. So we'll get some of that going. Mm -hmm. 